If you like stories about animals or stories about space If you like reading stories then you've come to the right place So sit back and relax my friend, are you ready? Let's go! It's time for story time with our good friend Officer Joe It's story time, it's story time It's time for story time with our good friend Officer Joe Officer Joe. Hey there friends, my name's Mr. Al, and I would like to welcome you back to another episode of Officer Joe's Storytime. So, if you've really been enjoying all of our videos the last couple of weeks, be sure to go down there and click on that big red button that says subscribe. And that way you'll be able to find out when Officer Joe and I post all of our videos. So, speaking of Officer Joe, let's bring him on out. So please welcome our favorite guy in a blue shirt, Officer Joe! Hey there, Officer Joe. How you doing there, buddy? Hey, Mr. L. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Hey, can you tell our friends at home who's this little guy that you got in your arm? Oh, this is my favorite stuffed animal! Oh, okay. Uh, what's your stuffed animal's name? Does he have a name? Oh, yeah, of course he's got a name. His name is Theodore Stuffy Pants the Third. Oh, okay. Theodore Stuffy Pants. Yeah, the third. Uh, <laughs> Theodore Stuffy Pants the Third. That is a very cool name, Officer Joe. So, do you take him to bed with you every night to make you feel safe? Oh yeah, I can't go to bed without Theodore. Well, Officer Joe, I'm glad that Theodore stays with you all night and makes you feel safe while you sleep. Oh yeah, he's my best friend. So, friends at home, why don't you put down in the comment section what your favorite stuffed animal is that you take to bed every night? Yeah, I really think that's a great idea. I bet everyone has a stuffed animal that they take to bed with them. And Officer Joe, as luck would have it, our story today is based on a teddy bear. Oh yeah? What's it called? Oh, well, it's actually called Corduroy, and it's written by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a teddy bear that lives in the toy section of a really big department store. Oh yeah? Well, what else is the story about? Well, Officer Joe, I can't tell you all about the story, but I can at least tell you that Corduroy, he actually goes on an adventure looking for a lost button. Oh yeah? A lost button? That sounds kind of neat. Do you think we can read it now? Of course we can read it, Officer Joe. Hey friends at home, are you ready to read the story Corduroy? Great! Okay, so let's open up our book and let's start reading the book called Corduroy. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button on one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and he went up. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace! Kudura gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed and up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, 
he cried, and he tried to pick it up, but like all of the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until, pop, off came the button, and off the mattress corduroy toppled. Bang! Into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Hmm, now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all, and there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning, and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and gave him a big hug. The End So Officer Joe, did you enjoy that story? Oh yeah, I really enjoyed that story a lot! Oh great! Hey, um, what happened to Theodore? Oh well, he really enjoyed the story, especially since it was about a teddy bear, but he actually fell asleep, so I had to put him in his own little bed that I have in my room! Oh very cool, so you have a special little bed for Theodore, just like Corduroy had, in Lisa's room in the story. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty funny. I didn't think of that until just now. So Officer Joe, what do you think was your favorite part of the story? Well, my favorite part of the story, now that you mention it, was the part where, at the end, where Lisa had a special little bed for Corduroy, and that's just like me and Theodore. That's awesome, Officer Joe. The great part about that story is that Corduroy thought that he had to go looking for his button to get Lisa to take him home. But it turns out that she loved him the way he was, and she took him home anyway. Isn't that great, boys and girls? That makes the story such a happy ending. Oh yeah, I always love reading happy endings. Me too, Officer Joe. But hey, before we finish up this video, do you have a good old-fashioned Officer Joe joke to tell our friends at home? Oh yeah, I have the perfect joke for you all, especially since it's winter time. So, what do snowmen eat for breakfast? Ice Krispies! <laughs> Get it? Instead of Rice Krispies, I said Ice Krispies! <laughs> that was a pretty good joke, Officer Joe. Boys and girls at home, did you enjoy that joke? Me too, I really enjoyed that joke. So friends, Thank you for reading the book Corduroy with Officer Joe and I, and please be sure to go down there and click on that big red button that says subscribe, and that way you can get all the notifications about the videos that Officer Joe and I post. So until next time friends, be sure to keep on reading those books, and we'll see you next time. Take care friends! Bye bye friends! See you next time!